on my lifestyle. I'll just say the fact that it's even like, uh, somebody say this, somebody say this, somebody say this, somebody say this, because who cares? Like, I just, I don't know. You care? I care when y'all try to make it seem like I'm the bad guy and I'm just, oh my they God, make it seem yeah. like I'm just, it, it, they just make it seem like I'm bullying her and that's not oh the case. Gosh. We all have to be realistic with yeah. that shit here. I do not believe that girl. That girl uh, say something to me and I'll, you know, like, like tap her to be like, with long ago. But it doesn't matter, right, man? You, you were still missing a point. Whether it was two years ago, two months ago, you still wanted to do it, and that was my whole point. I don't care about the Christian thing. I don't have no problem. I have no problem you with standing it up. up. As in, the, in an instance of, like, it was ammo, and it wasn't It wasn't ammo. Am no, I was saying my point was, again, so that everybody understand that I didn't care about the threesome. I'm trying to do the Okay, up, down, up, left, right, left. So how are you figuring this out? Oh, I'm sorry. Up, 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 down, up, left. You keep saying y'all added up. And you're, you're doing this. But I know what y'all mean. I know what y'all I know what y'all mean. 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 I know After the escape room, we decided to go get four wings and some french fries, hot sauce, and ketchup, and get a little drinky drink or whatever. And that was too as fun as I thought it was. I noticed that when you posted everybody else first, mm -hmm. you had a period over their name, and then when you posted us, it was just like a regular zig level boom. And I was like, damn, what? Bitch, if you want to post, you want to post us, you know? And I just didn't know where the, the me personally, um, mm -hmm. I didn't know where the like, division came from because I feel like, I feel like Justin, I know y'all said y'all felt a type of way about what he posted um, on his story or whatever, but it's like y'all playing that what Zeke said to him had nothing to do with y'all. What Justin posted had nothing to do with me because I was, I rarely post about my lifestyle for my own personal reasons, but I don't have nothing to do with what Justin posts. So to be getting the backhand for what he posted kind of, you know, just made me feel weird. Cause I was like, damn, okay, we coming in. I'm thinking we all, well, I, I know we are all cool, but I feel like it was like, I don't know. I don't know where the division came from because I just don't think we don't, yeah, maybe I speak for we don't in our own little chat we don't talk like negatively or nothing like that. It's just like we be cutting shit and giggles. And I heard that there's a difference in y'all chat, but I'm gonna pay it for right now. Um, I, I mean, I'm gonna speak on it. I'm gonna speak on it. I'm gonna speak on it, but I just feel like it just didn't come from us. And then it was like the thing of oh well we came in a certain way but it's like I know y'all they don't know y'all so of course we're gonna be tighter because we started off together when the cast photos dropped I went under all of the newbies and I put them on my story and I put a singular period a dot above everybody's name or everybody's picture and then the old heads I just posted them I didn't put nothing crazy to post them. If that's how he wants to promote the show, this is how I want to promote the show. If the audience is already picking up on the whole new heads versus the old heads thing, 
okay, if that's the stance that y'all want to take, the thing, the 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 divide y'all want to create, why can't I walk through the same door that everybody else is walking through? That don't make sense to me. The whole just the post saying, I guess we're gonna have to carry the next season. To me, it's very shady. Could I have asked about it? All right. But then the conversation happened in the group chat and it ended up going it up into a bigger argument, right? So, with that being said, so, with that being said, it was kind of made out to be, oh, I'm just having um, fun trying to promote the show. Cool. I'm gonna do the same thing. And I don't see a problem with you. But I feel like that question was asked um, in the group chat to Justin or Justin Black like, to open that door for Justin to explain, well, explain what was going on. I started the, I started the conversation in the group chat simply because I saw where it was going. Man, I knew Justin's intention wasn't that. Um, Justin did that last season. Okay, so hear me out. Like, I it, it's not know a, that. It, it's not a thing of. And this is a whole other group. Oh, this is a, agree, but to know, like, it's, it's, I ain't gonna say it's not, it's not personal, it's not personal. At least I don't feel like it's personal, but my point is, why exile all the old heads and make it a division thing when Justin was the only person that posted the thing? Because, can I hear you? Or, hold on, can I? I'm I sorry, hear you, I'm but. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Go ahead, you're really fine. You're really fine. I, what I was gonna say is the same stance that you take of what the fuck is the same stance that we took of what the fuck because we didn't do it. It just came out of nowhere. And I had a right? conversation okay, so with Justin. Justin it. You're right, and yes, you did catch the the stray quote unquote. But at the same time, it was him saying the old heads, not old head, old heads, not well, himself, but all of us. Yeah. He'd be like, the old heads are going to carry this season. Like, and all I said was a period. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't even... They came off as... I came off as... I fuck with them. I don't fuck with them. That's just where it came off. So me, I can see well, how it came off. That, 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 that kind of told us that just don't really fuck with us. But that we gonna just hold it anyway. But just, Justin, when Justin had made the post, he said new heads and old heads. But like, he just, said that we didn't. But well, what he said was that people like the new heads are. Gonna, I mean, the old heads are gonna carry the season. He didn't say the new heads said X, Y, and Z. He said he thought the new heads are gonna carry the season. That is just his opinion. We ain't had a discussion about none of that shit, and we don't know that. All and we know is that the fact. That's why the question. I'm sorry. You're sorry, fine. You're perfectly fine. fine. You're perfectly fine. fine. You're perfectly fine. fine. <laughs> that's why the question was put out there. Like, hey, like. But I had to bring the question to y'all. Like, no, the first time. The first time. Yeah, the first time. We brought it up. Oh well. Yeah. I opened up. I felt like the. When I said the, I hope this whole new head and rookie thing ain't a thing. And that's why I told you flat out, yes, it is. Because, I, let me tell you something, me, I'm oblivious to 99% of shit. I don't know much. Like, I don't like, know what it takes. Like, I heard Justin like what was his post about. Like, it wasn't, like, before I posted or said anything that could go left, like, it wasn't no intention to blow the group chat up like that. Like, it was literally like, hey, what was this about before I say what I have to say? And I feel like the same reason that they asked you about what was going on was simply because, just like y'all feel like we run together and we know, like y'all expected us to know that Zeke uh, said something about Justin. Just like we didn't know that was going on, even though we're all cool, we still didn't even know that was going on. Yeah, we didn't have nothing like, to do with that. Y'all kind of like, you know, assume that we do the same way. We're kind of assuming that y'all knew like exactly, we had a key what about exactly what Justin meant when he said that. So I feel like that's kind of where. Over all this loud ass noise and chaos, riff rap and jibber jabber, I contacted Z outside of all that. And just to give him that reassurance because I feel like I needed to because I have literally no issue with Lizzie. I just felt like I needed to let him know, hey, I love you, I still love you, I will always love you. Don't let nobody tell you or make you or try to persuade you that I don't or that I'm talking about you or that I'm doing X, Y, and Z. I always love you and you're my brother. You're somebody who I felt like I brought into the fold. So the love is never gonna change here. So I would pray that it's the same on your end. And then he got into how 
he felt like every morning or he felt like a couple times that they would post they would like screenshot our posts and stuff like that and put it in the chat and say what do you think stuff like what do you think he's talking about today x y and z or they'll try to make Zeke feel a type of way towards something that I said or something towards what Dre said or what someone said. It's always something, it was like, he, he describes me that it was something always in the group about what's going on, what's, what's something about us. So, Romy, you did play your words kind of right. Bitch, what was going on was involving us. But the difference is we don't talk about y'all in our chat like that. And that's simply what I was saying. Like, we don't. But, but for y'all to be taking our posts that we post almost every day and trying to put y'all thing down, flip it and reverse it is kind of crazy. So I feel like no bitch can be mad about how I reacted. No, you can feel like how you feel, but I don't give a fuck. I think I, mean, I, I, I think that's the difference. I, I just don't give a fuck. I never about, told you you have to I, give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about the about the opinion of what you have to say about the situation. Right. But, but I'm saying, I just feel like you inserted yourself somewhere that you really didn't have. If to I didn't belong in it, if I didn't need to be in it, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Did. You didn't. I, I just feel like you didn't have to insert yourself there. Well, but guess what? You went to you with your own girl. Hold on, hold on. You know, you don't give a fuck. I understand. I it was in the group chat. You so did. I'm gonna say something. You did. Give a fuck because you respond. Here's the thing: I don't give a Paragraph fuck. Paragraphs actually, think about it because Paragraphs actually so that means you did give a fuck. Ramain has a very one-sided view of almost every single conversation that we have when it comes to the group chat, right? So he's trying to make it seem like okay, Justin was just playing. It's just a key when he's saying oh, OGs is finna carry a new season. Okay, so when I put a period over the new uh, us, us new people on the show. When I put a period over our pictures, but I don't put a period over everybody else, now I'm causing a problem. Now I'm creating a divide. Honestly, honestly, I feel like a period is a lot less than a full on statement putting another group of people down, right? But either way, it's supposed to be a key. Cool. It's supposed to be promote the show. Cool. So what did I do? Promote the show. But the way that I do it, all of a sudden, it's a problem. If I'm in a heated discussion with somebody else, or I'm in a heated whatever it is with somebody else, don't feel the need to insert yourself because I felt bullied. And I'm damn sure not gonna let nobody bully me. You cannot That's just me. That's just me. Because I felt Wait, like I was I felt like I was reacting. I felt like I was reacting to the situation. And that's just the way can so I you, say, hold on, yeah, can I say, so you know how you said that you're saying that you don't feel like um, Solomon should have stepped into you or Roman addressing each other? Why did you feel the need to address what we were saying to Justin at that time? Because that's the problem that we had with Justin. We literally said, hey, Justin. I started but the you could, but you could, but you, I'm not asking you. Uh, started to come to I'm asking why did you feel the need to talk for Justin or come to Justin's saving when it wasn't an issue with you when we were talking to Justin? In the group chat, you, when you said, when me and Solomon was joking with Justin and you was like, I know it ain't gonna be no jumping, da 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 no. You don't remember the same? I said, it, not y'all jumping. But you said, that's you. That was you. That, that was you. That's the only thing I said. But that's you inserting yourself. Said. But that was you inserting yourself, and then that's when it turned to you and y'all talking. Like, that's you inserting yourself. Like, we, we, we initially came in and talked to Justin, and it wasn't a bullying thing. Right? I personally just feel like Justin is a welcome contradiction. He says one thing, and his actions show something else so at this point justin is who justin is and justin is who justin gonna be and it's you you see him for what you see him as and we see each other y'all feel some type of way about what justin posted so y'all started feeling a type of way towards everybody and if it was an everybody thing though, Robbie, it would have. I would have texted and said, "Hey, y'all, what's the issue?" But I texted and said, "Hey, Justin, what's what? What? Who had? Who had? Who had? 
though. I'm speaking for me though. I'm, I had an issue with Justin because I had a conversation with Justin before he even posted what he posted about the whole, about the whole separation thing, and Justin said that it was it wasn't no separation. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't. But for you to go and say the OG, if you no, 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 the boy if was promoting the show you like it, it, different it, ways to promote and the show, yes, and that's just his use, way. But if you wanted to use the vision to promote the show, you can't be mad that somebody is upset. That's not the body. He just said that he feel like the old heads are gonna be that show. That's not y'all feel that separation. Opinion on um, what he, he thinks, exactly and then what you said. the thing about it is that he was seeing, he, exactly he was seeing about the whole situation. That's the thing. He, 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 was, about, he was seeing about Zyrie. He, he seen wasn't seen about seeing. About yeah, that you, was. That was the whole point of the okay, talk. Okay, now you're now you're kidding. Now it's a big thing. It was not a kid. Okay, but in the group chat, he was like, "Oh, nobody can tell me how to feel about this. I want to feel about me." That's exactly what the fuck I said. Okay, so how is it not a thing of you feeling a type of way? You felt a type of way. Just say you felt the same way. You don't have to play this guy all the time. If you look, every chance she gets, she she leaning in. Like she about to bust out of the dance floor. Like she about to tap dance. And that's okay. Let me tell you something. Simple. First of all, when <laughs> he said he was saying like, correct, that was the whole point. He wanted to fucking make a post and say what he had to say. I'll, I can do the same thing. You could be saying that, but you weren't keen. Here, but I was. Okay. We were here in the group chat. We were literally kidding. We were sending memes. Nobody's been an artist. I'm not having a real artist. I'm not going to send okay for him to have a key, but they can't. We can't keep with But my whole point is, he, again, he, he, I appreciated this thing of separation because y'all actually felt a type of way about this boy post. Oh. Justin is the only one who posted. No one even reposted what Justin said. Y'all the only ones who made it a thing because y'all thought that we were all with Justin, which furthermore shows that y'all bitches love. At this point, you just trying to be heard and not listen to anybody else. And we're trying to give, get a point across and tell you what is going on. Hell, you talk about what we talk about in the group chats. I will open up my phone and let you scroll through that motherfucker. What are we talking about about you? Because we don't. Don't nobody care enough. I promise. Don't nobody care enough. I want, I do the same. What I want y'all to do, what I want y'all to do is compare the group test. We barely talk about y'all, but I know for a fact, but I know for a fact, but I know for a fact that y'all talk about us. I know for a fact that y'all talk about us. I know for a fact that y'all talk about us. I know for a fact that y'all talk about us. I know for a fact that y'all talk about us. I know for a fact that y'all talk about us. I know for a fact that y'all talk about us. We were supposed to be cool, and now we have stupid drama over me putting a period over a picture. Who would? Robbie getting his information from. If it's not me, if it's not Cuban, if it's not Solomon, it's only one other person. And now, bitch, I'm looking at you sideways, and now we got to have a conversation about it, because what's up? I just wanted to drink my drink and eat some french fries. These girls still talking about who caused what and who did what. Have self-accountability. These bitches are sizzle, blind. Three blind mice. And I wish you guys luck. I hope you guys find your way. I hate that the blind is leading the blind, but you know. <sighs> hate it for you. So, Royalty's View is looking for some new models, some new faces, some new team members to add to the team. And we just wanted to inquire a couple of girls and a couple of gentlemen to see if they have what it takes to be a part of our next upcoming project. We're gonna get into measurements and getting body molds and stuff. Yes, body molds. We, we getting up there. We need, okay. we need body molds. Like, I just made um, then we're gonna end with everybody, like teaching everybody a simple walk to come back to practice so everybody can somewhat at least be on the same level. Yeah. Like. People won't be like, oh, I don't know how to walk, right. or I can't walk in heels, or I never did it. You did do it before. We did it during the model call. Mm -hmm. You told you to take it off. And that's just how this gonna go. We're gonna try to breeze through it as smooth as possible. Let's try not to have conference conversations with everybody because like we on the front time we gotta get out of here. We so took pictures, like, yeah, that's mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Thank you. We also got to get the headshots and full body shots. Hey, Taylor, girl. We're going to get into that. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look real good. Your wig look great. You look real good. The wig is, the wig is wig. Take it out. 
a ponytail. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've already put myself in the predicament to not necessarily expect the worst, but be prepared for the worst. I was prepared if nobody came in at all. Do you want to know what I'm going to bring the models in? Or? Let's get it. Okay, this wig right here is nice and nice. We're going to get started. As soon as Willie, I mean, Roman come back in. So anybody with a business who has been doing it for a while, they always, or we all have a comment that we, once we put something out there, we feel like, you know, the people that show love and inquire, we we feel like they're gonna, you know, stand on their word and show up. So getting there and only seeing two models was, it was a little discouraging because like I said, who wouldn't want their business to, you know, continue to flourish. Hey, this is my boyfriend and, you know, we've been thugging with our rounds. We've been <laughs> trying to build our business from, you know, the ground up. Like this is what, year three? Mm -hmm. or three year three we had our business, so. I just love how much you know about it. <laughs> you know more about it than we do, right? <laughs> you know, I love y'all. <laughs> I'm just happy to meet y'all and y'all got good vibes because I would have felt the bad. We love it. We love it. Thank you again for being here. Not just black girl. I normally do runway. Mm -hmm. So you've done fashion shows before? Yeah. Oh, I work with Mike Rayford. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, good. Thank you for gracing us with your friends. Wow. <laughs> like, thank you. Thank we you. love that. I'm excited. I'm, 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 I'm not even a model. <laughs> I was grateful that they came and graced us with their presence and quiet about our business. I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm also, you know, I'm starting to feel like we can become a little family because I know y'all said I don't like getting new new people. I think that was just specifically for the gays. I love the girls. So, you know, I love meeting them. I love their energy. I love what they bring. Um, except for one. She said that she worked with the laws. I know. So I was a little scared. So we're gonna see where it goes. So then I try to arrest me. I just really appreciate y'all coming because like we said, that means a lot for y'all just coming and standing in front of us, like letting us talk, first of all, because we talk too much sometimes. And they didn't interrupt us like, hey, we got to go. Like, we, we love that. We love that. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Hey, please, did I get tears or medals? Radio with a little bit of rebel, all gas, no brakes. I push that pedal. If I can have everything that I wanted, why settle? Base card don't decline, I ain't got no limits. Had to put that murder on a Mortal combat finish. Went from zero to a million, why should I feel timid? I made a sugar spice and then they was so loving. You never been in Seeing those two ladies walk in, it also lightened my heart because it's like, those are two people that see your vision. They see the worth, they see the growth, they want to be a part. So, we kind of just have to take it for what it is, you know? I was very grateful, very blessed that somebody came and somebody wants to be a part. Well, after we kind of got all our measurements and did everything, you and I wanted to see what the girls was going, how they look next up. You always start with your left foot and you walk to the end of the runway. Then you sway to the left first, sway to the right, turn and sit in that hip to walk off. They got what it takes. I love that they fit the criteria of the models that we have already. I love that they look good standing next to us. They just look good. You look good. That's what money look like. Honestly, I can say, y'all fit the criteria. Welcome to the team, boo. I love y'all already. Like, love, I don't use the new I love y'all. I love y'all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So yes, the day is finally come. The Emerald City Kiki Ball is presented by the Tell Bars. It's finally here. Listen, this ball is literally my baby. Um, be my if I had never seen The Wiz ever. Um, my first time watching The Wiz was July when they asked me to, like to write a ball. I went to do The Wizard of Oz, and Travis was telling me, you know. Look at the Wiz, I think you'll like the Wiz more. And it just took one scene for me to be sold on the Wiz. I love the blackness in the movie. I love just everything just made me want to sit down and actually concentrate right on this. I got to be a judge for the first time, um, even though that stirred a lot of controversy too. But you have to understand that I was put on panel because I wrote the ball. I wrote the ball, I knew what the fuck to look for. So while y'all were screaming, yeah, these categories are over and all that good stuff, made by me. And yeah, so I'm excited to see the girls slam they back, woop woop, do. And the Grand March is over. I don't do the fighting. I was, mm -mm. well, let's take it back. I don't do, those were men. Like, they were like hood. I thought somebody was gonna get pistol with. I, mm -mm. I had to do my little, my little Kim a little bit. I, I was nervous. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Let's not fake, let, let's not act like, you know, there hasn't been, um, a calculated push by many people in the industry to end my career in the last year and a half. They've, you know, they've done, they've done so much and every time when they see this little, yeah, when they see this little thing here, back up and kicking, <laughs> they be like, yo, what the fuck is it gonna take to get rid of this bitch? You can't get rid of me, bitch. <laughs> I'm not going no fucking where. And you're gonna always get it again and again.
up like I feel like every person who got the character they actually embody that character um I really loved every aspect I love y'all so much I don't think y'all understand how much these people like oh I tell these people every day these are people that I would give a fuck about you know falling out with you know um but we went out there and we killed it like the crowd was up the energy was up of course, we had some mishaps, you know. It wouldn't be a bottom matter if we didn't have any mishaps, but it was over. And no bitch can tell me otherwise. Especially me. Red hair whip. <laughs> little brute showing just a little. Just a little wop. Wop, 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 I ate it. We all ate it, but I ate it. Let's get into it. Dragons! Judges, everybody just pull it and we're gonna do it like that. Ooh, $1,500. Don't be ready for the stop. Say give me one. One female figure, one male figure, give me one. Oh, take it, guys. 
Sí, no, sí, no, sí, no. So we're going to go X3. I'm super excited because I personally never went X3 before. And I'm kind of just looking forward to see, you know, what that throw look of mine go with mine. Why was I throwing these axes and none wanted to land? It got to the point I was like, I don't even like this. Like, this is boring. Like, why are we even here? Like, it got to the point I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take the X and I'm going to run and hit the balls out of myself because, you know, I can't, you know, hit the balls out with throwing it. So, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. You know, it is what it is, okay? I know most of y'all probably gonna be shook to see us in a room together with an ex, but I promise you nobody got hit One thing I could say that shocked me y'all was the fact that Roman and Ra was getting along. I just know it was gonna rain, it was gonna snow, it was gonna sleet, and it was gonna hell, baby, because it's no way that these two individuals are getting along. The last time that we all was together was the picnic and they was at each other's throat. Like, whatever transpired or whatever occurred during that time to now, I'm super appreciative of you, God, because it was giving like vibes. It wasn't giving like Caddy, it wasn't giving Patty. Like we all was just chilling and having a good time. And like that's the stuff that I appreciate. That's the vibe and the energy, you know, that I want around me. Ain't no way I had no motherfucking 15. Somebody was not keeping track of my points. Dude, this bitch is like this bitches, this bitches be lying. Ain't no motherfucking way. Big, no big 29. Now, how how Rick was missing every X that he threw, but ended up winning overall on the game. The calculation's not adding up, somebody cheated, somebody's lying. Other than it being slightly divided, um, it went pretty good. It was productive. It was fun for me, because I've never been axe thrown and I can't say the same for everybody else, but it was productive and fun for me. So after we got the ex thrown or whatnot, Roman put me to the side to have a conversation. It's always something. Like I say, do what? Leave it to Roman. So we, y'all, we, we want to sit out. I mean, it was good vibes. So, you know, going into this, I expect it to be nothing but good. But you know, when someone puts you to the side to have a conversation, it's the issue. And I'm not going to like sit up here and fake the funk. Like I, it, it was the issue or whatnot. I know it was the issue before I was going into it. Or whatnot, so I'm just gonna see what she gotta say. I don't know if you know, but we had a conversation at um me, Cuban, Ramen, no, me, Cuban, Ramen, and Solomon. We went to dinner after we went to the escape room, and you know, the conversation got a little heated or whatever. As it, right? yeah, but it was from a perception that Ramen knew that we was talking about him or we made we we talk about him and the only person that like i told him we discussed the issue so i feel like whenever we got on the phone or whatever the case may be we of course we all we all been in about this situation so it wasn't it's just a they said this that and third so my thing is how are you going to take a conversation that we had as friends and take that conversation if you're going to do your job as being a bone carrier do it the right way. First of all, we all were beefing on social media. He was posting, you was posting, and he come and say, I know for a fact that y'all, of course he know for a fact that y'all talking about him, boo. Y'all gonna make it for on the internet. How will he not know that you're talking about him? Like, let's be for real. Like, let's just, let's just be honest with each other. Like, there's no need to talk in circles. There's no need to blame me for something that you're doing that you know you're doing. We're not going to just say I'm a bone carrier because we don't have no proof of facts. You said based off a conversation. Mm -hmm. So it's just based off that conversation, that's how you feel. It's no, no that's not how I feel. That's what was brought to us at that table in that moment. He said, I know for a fact that y'all talk about me. Mm -hmm. And the only way, 
excuse me, he would know for a fact that we talk about the situations in a group is if somebody in a group went outside and said that. I'm not cool with him at this moment. Him and um, him and Solomon already had their issue. Uh, I don't know how him and Cuban their relationship is, but I I know for a fact that Cuban went and go sit on the phone and be like, oh, they said X, Y, and Z. So the only person that was left was you because it was all four of us in the group okay, chat. Like so I said, you we, got all, you put all this together. I didn't put all, of, I didn't put that's all what of it, it together. Like no, it, it, no, it's fact. Yeah, it, it's it was not, fact. It's not giving fact. Oh, that's what, okay. It's Let not, me say, that's how okay. it was brought to us, that it was fact. But you said, he said that he know that y'all talk about him for right. fact, right? So just based off that one little line, you said, oh, I didn't say nothing. You didn't say nothing. So it has to be Z. People don't have to be, you know, be like, oh, they in a group chat talking about you. You don't have to be that. If somebody said, oh, I know that you talk about me for a fact, they're just, their feelings or how they feel. That don't mean that somebody's going around spreading this. I mean, we kind of put it together that it was kind of you, but also it was kind of portrayed that way that how it was brought up was that somebody in y'all group came back and told me that y'all talk about it. So my whole thing was, again, we wouldn't have just, we didn't just randomly say, oh, Zarek went and said something. It was brought to us that way. So that's why we all kind of looking at you kind of funny, like, and like I told Ramey, it wasn't that we were just specifically talking about him individually, we talk about what affected the group. So if all four of us was on that phone call having that conversation, I just don't understand why the conversation was took it out of the group chat and brought to him as if we allegedly. just- Allegedly. Uh, uh, we can allegedly. say allegedly, we allegedly. can say allegedly. Mm -hmm. Well, the conversation was allegedly taken out the group chat and brought to him, so, like, and I'm asking you, like, real, like, because I, I felt like we was cool, but you do have, like, you know, your iffy ways a little bit sometimes when you fucking with somebody and when you don't. So we try to, like, give you that space and not try to, like, force that on you because you're your own person. You're grown as fuck. You fuck with who you want to fuck with. And nobody can't tell you that. I'm not ever going to sit here and tell you to pick sides between us and Ramane because it's, it never gave that. Me and Ramane can argue today and we can we can go have fun tomorrow. So it never gave pick a side. It just basically gave, when we did been about this, it got brought back to me by, allegedly by Z. And that's up to you to either confirm or deny. You don't have to, but I mean, I just feel like if you said it, you said it. If you didn't, you did I do feel like he did go back and run his mouth and switch the story up to Ramain and tell him that we be talking shit about them, this, that, and the third. I do feel like he did say that, but I do feel like Ramain took what Zarek said and kind of put it down, flip it, and reversed it on his own. Like, I just feel like they 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 both played a part in it, and I feel like if Zarek wouldn't have opened his mouth and talked about what we discussed, we probably wouldn't be having an issue right now. But Zarek has shown me more than one time that he got snakish ways. So, what do you expect from a saint? I know Rob before I knew you. Yeah. So, you know, like me and Rob already was cool. We both Scorpios. We go way, way back. So, before I met you, I already knew Rob. The only issue that me and Ra had was the old school versus new school thing, which made me back up from Ra. Mm -hmm. But after Ra was like an adult and reached out, I was like, okay, I can respect you reaching out and mm -hmm. having a conversation with me and letting me know what type of timing you're on. I feel like it takes a lot for somebody to reach out to you personally mm -hmm. on their time and be like, hey, I don't have a problem with you. That, that gives me adult, that gives me grown. I mean, I can keep it with you. Right. But when it gets to the mess and the spread and this and spread and that, when we could just have a conversation, mm -hmm. that's not. I agree. Oh. See, the time that you have to sit on social media and go back and forth with someone, or the time that you guys have to call a group chat and to talk about someone, I'm gonna be having that time. I'm a whole college student. I'm a whole senior this year. I have other obligations. I'm in different organizations. I do my music and I do my school. You know, I don't have time to play the fence to talk about nobody. Like, I don't have as much time as y'all would have to sit and do stuff like that. Maybe nothing about me is iffy and I don't have to, you know, you don't have to like feel like it is because it's not. Because if I said it, then I meant it. And that's just a fact. But all in all, after having this conversation and after hearing the things, you know, the supposed to be group, the new school versus the old school, whatever the mess was or whatnot, is really making me reevaluate 
you know, who I hang around. Should I even be cool with Solomon? Should I even be cool with Roman? Should I even be cool with Cuban? Because at the end of the day, if you really fuck with me like how you say, you would have had a conversation with me before cutting me off. And it's just really giving me weird. So after this conversation, I don't know where any of those relationships will lie because I'm very big on, you know, talking and communicating because I thought this a big a big issue you know with a lot of friends a lot of relationships it's communication it's just like if you're not gonna be able to communicate with me and you're gonna make a decision to just cut me off why should we even be cool let's be real girl, girl. okay y'all get home safely girl you too Y'all know our fashion show is January 26th, so y'all need to go ahead and put it on your calendar. Because right. leave it up to Roman. Leave it up to Roman. It wasn't me tonight. <laughs> it wasn't me tonight, baby. Ciao. But I'm like, no, uh uh, we're not gonna skip. Let's talk about it. What happened? Who said that? What happened? <laughs> Well, well, how do you feel about it though? Like, honestly, hearing both sides and knowing what was going down, like, how do you feel about it? We got our special guest here in the studio. Hey. Hey. What's up, Zyrie? What's mm -hmm. poppin', Miss Nee? Dre, you lit already, ain't you? Huh? Yeah! <laughs> Man in the guap, yo, you know I keep that on me. Who want the smoke? Yeah, you know I got my own tree. Pay these bitches dust, now they begging me for mercy. See you at the top, yeah, that's what them bottoms told me. You saying that you don't want to beef with nobody, but then you get on a podcast and bitches know what's up with me and bitches that is that. This is gonna be, 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 you gonna be bitches where they at. You already knew I'm, I'm standing there, I'm standing on the side of I don't give a fuck about you. Exactly. Never did, never will.